I can taste something bitter in the sweetness There's an ache in my lungs cause I'm not breathing I break myself to pieces, test my patience Craving just a little validation When will I start feeling like I'm good enough for you? Only happy if you're happy for me Dying every second, you ignore me Now all my self-worth depends on you When did I become so desperate? When did I become so insecure? I hate myself so you can love me more When did I become so desperate? Break the mirror on my bedroom door How much longer can I do? This for, do this for <laughs> Scared that nothing that I say is gonna convince me Need to hear it come from you or I don't sleep I spend my free time wishing I was different New identities and new beginnings I don't know what I'm supposed to do when did I become so desperate? When did I become so insecure? I hate myself so you can love me more When did I become so desperate? Oh. Break the mirror on my bedroom door How much longer can I do this for? Do this for? When did I become so we were just chilling and then Taraji requested me to allow her use my makeup. She wanted specifically eyeshadow and lipstick. I like the way she gets excited at these things. I was like, okay, once in a while it's okay. So I was just looking at her as she was doing her own makeup. Eh? Are you done? What are you adding? Guy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you look so cute. I like to need some eyebrows. I, 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 Taraji, you said lipstick and eyeshadow. Okay. <laughs> So you're done with your eyebrows? Yeah. Well, let me see. Guy, they look good. You know, she used to do her eyebrows once in a while. Not the, not makeup, just eyebrows. Then one time, one of my neighbors where I used to live asked me that, hey, I do, I do Taraji's eyebrows. And I'm like, no, I don't. 
you won't even see something at out of line like you would think someone else has done her eyebrows you look cute you look beautiful oh you look so cute once, once you start wearing makeup oh, it will be so nice now you're still young so this is a one time once in a while thing uh, ah. <laughs> you look good you like it yes okay Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Maybe you give me fear that I love. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me in high and dry. that I didn't introduce it yet. Today is Sunday, so we didn't have a vlog. You know, guys know that we always have a Sunday vlog at 2 p.m. We didn't have a vlog because this past week I was not just okay mentally. And I shared on Instagram, and even my Instagram family knew that we were not going to have a vlog today. Because, you know, for Instagram, I can just post on my story as up. But for YouTube, I have to vlog for a couple of days or a week, then upload, then edit, then upload, then that's when you guys will know. That's why I always tell you guys to follow me on Instagram so you can just get the live updates. So today, Mataraji and I are going to visit our family member. My brother is meeting us there, so today is just family day. So I don't think I'm going to vlog because I'm just we're just visiting them in their home. I don't want to just start putting, you know, camera like that. But... This is how I'm looking. I've not done any makeup and yeah, my hair I've just you, done the mini. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, this is what I'm wearing. It is a blue striped dress mm. with a unicorn top mm -hmm. and a violet with a violet stocking. Violet stocking. And my eyes. Nice. This is how I'm looking. I'm looking very decent. <laughs> okay, they see me well. So this is my outfit. I love this dress. It's so decent. It's so beautiful. It's so girly. You know, <laughs> you must have decent outfits for visiting family for family occasions and this for church. This is really good, actually. So beautiful. This is good. You looks good. Thank you. So guys. Bye-bye. So when we left, first of all, uh, Taraji's sandals, the straps came off, we came back home, changed, and then we went back. And then we got involved in an accident along Thika Road. So the vehicle that we were in, this one in white, it rammed into the first one. It was so scary, but thank God we are fine. So I just went... Uh, met my brother and then spent the day with family and then we came back i'll tell you how the accident happened later on but i don't want to miss you baby so i stand up and speak just by mind
is Monday and I've finished everything that I was doing. My I really normally feel so good when my house is clean. So I want to rush somewhere near our estate. I want to go get some wine. I want to get one wine glass. <laughs> There are so many things I need in my kitchen, you know, like a dish rack, like that rack for putting, I don't know, potatoes, things like that. But I've just been saying, even more plates. So I've just been saying that, you know, I want to get money so I can go to Kamkundi and just buy everything at once. But I've not been able to get that money yet because, you know, these things cost money and it's not easy to just get money to buy everything at once. So I even wanted to buy wine glasses. But now the thing is, there's content that I want to shoot. Tomorrow, I want to shoot two sit-down videos. One will be like a make, get, get ready with me, so I'll be doing my makeup while filming it. And then when I finish, I'll do another one, which requires me to have a sit down because it's a story time. And I'm going to give you this story as I'm sipping wine. This wine that Ray Ray got me, actually I've never even tested it because I, didn't, I don't have a wine glass. I'm like, am I going to take wine in a water glass? I don't know. The wine is still here. Such sweet wine, cellar cast. Hmm? One of my favorites. But now I've not even opened it. So I want to go get just one glass because I know that I'll eventually I'll get those ones at the set or half a set from Kamkunji and I want them to be similar. But there's somewhere near our estate. I can even do this from the supermarket, but there's somewhere near our estate. I usually pass by and I see they sell those kinds of things. And someone even told me that they have those kinds of things at minimum prices. So I'm thinking of just going to get one because my money cannot allow me to get more. So I can come back and tomorrow it's me and my seller cast. I can't even laugh. I love wine because of red wine, red sweet wine. I wanted to tell you guys about yesterday's accident. Ah. <laughs> this year, and this is only like is it three months or four months since we had the bad motorcycle accident? And before that, we've never involved been involved in an accident. I've never been involved in an accident. I used to hear people talk about it, and, about it, and I'm like, wow, that's so strange that I've never been involved in an accident. <laughs> It was a blessing because now we were on the vehicle going. I was meeting my brother somewhere so we could go to my auntie's place together. So we are on Thika Road, super highway. We are on the super highway, not just any highway. Then there's this car, the personal car that I see parked in front. I was seated behind the driver. So you see this personal car parked in the middle of the highway. Apparently, Police officers had stopped the, the owner of this vehicle. I don't know why they decided to stop this person in the middle of the highway. Okay? They could have told the person to pull up, you know, aside or something. I don't know what they were talking about. They had just stopped this person. But the car was not moving. All of us, we could see the car had stopped. There was space on the other side. Our driver, we are, so we are moving towards this car that is parked. Me, I know very well, our driver is seeing it. If I can see it, our driver is seeing this car. At some point, he's going to slow down, he's going to stop, he's going to you know, go to the next lane because we are, you know, not thicker road is huge. So, like two vehicles, I don't know how to explain, but you know, so you can leave this one and just go to the next one. No, no. Our driver, the same speed that he was driving at, I don't know if it was 50, I don't know if it was 100, I don't know. The same speed, tell me why this man did not stop. He went with the same same speed, same speed, like, ooh. So I think it got to a point I was like, oh my God, we're having an accident. He's going to hit, he's going to hit, because you can clearly see, and then it happens so fast. No one even screamed, because we're like, you know, it's that kind of shock that this person is going to hit, they're going to hit, they're going to hit. They just continue, boom, until they hit this other driver from behind, and they knocked off, I don't know, that car behind window. Like, we plunge into that vehicle. I don't know if that's when he braked. I don't know if the impact is what made the vehicle stop. So we were all shocked, like, okay, seriously? I don't know the rules of the road, I don't have a car. But there were a lot of mistakes there, and I think our driver had, was at fault, like, had the biggest mistake. So, when the impact, because I was holding Taraji, you know, she was seated on me, so I was holding her. So, she did, like, knock the, her head or anything. <sighs> And before that, you know, there was this lady who was seated in front with the driver. And those vehicles are smaller than the, the usual ones. So for these ones, it's only one person with the driver, not two people as usual. So I was looking at her before and I was like, wow. She said, like, I wish I would have gotten here first and could sit there because that is more comfortable. Her? 
Thank God we did not sit here because she was the one that was hurt the most. Because now she was with the driver, so they are the ones who knocked into this vehicle for us who were behind the driver's seat. So when that happened, I told the, I was in the middle, there was someone here and there was someone here with a child also. So I told the person who was near next to the door, open the door, open the door, open the door. And then they opened the door and we got out. I just grabbed her right in her bag and I got out. So the person who was seated near next to the driver was trying to tell her, open the door and get out. I don't know. Uh, when something like that happens, my adrenaline rushes in and I act fast. But at the same time, I panic because, I don't know if it is because of watching too many movies, I was thinking like, what if the guy explodes? So I was like, open the door, open the door and get out. <laughs> well, but she was not able to. There are those kinds of doors if you're in Kenya, you know, they are the doors that only the conductor or the driver can open themselves. Luckily, nothing was happening. It didn't blow up. There, there were like no glasses or anything. Nothing hit. How, how can I say? It was not that fatal accident whereby like people are stabbed or bleeding or something. No, but that part, the girl seated in front, her knee were, was hurt. It took her a couple of minutes to be okay. That, that's her impact. That impact of hitting that is what happened and then the shock obviously we were in shock so i got out and just crossed and went to stand on the other side at uh, the pedestrian where people pass so i think that's where even after a few minutes i just called my brother I was like we've been involved in an accident i don't know whether to go me i'm feeling like i'm going back home i don't know whether to go back home or come so he was like are you guys okay he told me you're okay he was like if you guys are okay then just take the next vehicle and then you come so we were shaken and the thing that i hate about it is that it happened while I was with Taraji. The other accident also happened while I was with Taraji. That motorcycle accident traumatized Taraji big time. I was not putting her on camera those times that she was like down, but she used to cry a lot. When we used to be on the road, she's scared. I'm like, just hold my hand, look and cross. She keeps saying, why is this person driving so fast? Why is this motorcycle, uh, this, those poor motorcycle with the border border people, why are they driving so, riding so fast? She used to be so scared. There are times she came, she would come home from school crying, saying, Mommy, I keep thinking of the accident. I see, keep seeing bad things in my mind. It took her a while. I think up to last month, that's when she stopped saying that she was seeing those images. I was even like, if it takes longer, maybe she should like look for money and get her therapist because I think it gave her PTSD. So again, yesterday, I was just like, Jesus Christ. So she just kept saying, what is happening? And the way it took us long to heal. My daughter is, the way she communicates sometimes, she told me, and the way it took us long to heal. Now this is another accident. So I just kept reassuring her, telling her, we are fine. Nothing has happened. You see, no one has been injured. Not like, we are fine. It was just the shock. We are absolutely fine. Everyone was fine. It was just the person sitting in front that it took a few minutes. She sat down. Her knee was like bruised. But by the time we were leaving, she was okay and she was walking. By the time we hit that vehicle and brakes, the police were looking at that person like this. Like you hit another car in front of the police. I don't know why the police also had stopped a car in the middle of the highway. Anyway, that happened. We're okay. I'm grateful for that. So let me go buy this um, wine glass. Let me first show you something before we go. <laughs> This is Taraji's restaurant, apparently. I don't know. This is her signboard. Happy Meal. I think she wanted to write meal like food. So the name of her restaurant is Happy Meal. Uh, Taraji Millicent, Suju what restaurant. If you are, they, She read this to me. I couldn't understand. No, she's in that stage where she's trying to put sentences together. Suju, whatever. But she takes things in dollars. She takes payments in dollars. Don't joke with my child. <laughs> And this is the food. I don't know if this is a burger, but this is the sign uh, board of her restaurant. And then she also drew this one. Look at this girl. This girl has talent. Look at this beautiful girl. Wow. I used to think this place was purposely for electronics and kitchen utensils. But when I got in, I realized it's just like a normal supermarket. It has everything and of course plates, but the prices were a bit cheaper. I don't know if everything, but some specific things were cheaper. But now I realize that they told me that they don't sell a wine, singular wine glasses. So unless you buy a set. So since I didn't get what I wanted, I left here and went to Naivas and also tried to compare. Have you ever looked in the mirror and not seen yourself? Like you got lost somewhere along the way? Well, maybe you just need some help getting back but that's not something they tell you these days i never wanted to be that girl but i'm stuck on this rural street and my smile won't come but my hair still curls and i guess
guess that's how they recognize me. I'm not actually here anymore. I've forgotten what I came here for. You with the bright eyes, I envy you. Cold and bitter, that's what I've come to. You with the bright eyes. what I've come to There's no one around for miles They left me here in the dust They're actually all right next to me But it's like I'm a ghost I'm not actually here So I'm back home and no I did not get a wine glass so as I told you this first place they only had them in sets so you couldn't buy one and I was just looking to buy one and they had like I don't know one or two different types only the second place which was Naivas they had two types the first one was an absolute no it was small I don't want I don't like small wine glasses it was small and then the second one was big I like the stem the stem was long but the top part you know where you drink it with was narrow so it was a wine glass but coming like this and then the price of one was 550 the price of one at Naivas was equivalent it was more expensive than getting three from the first place so i just said if at all i'm going to get a set let me just go to kamkunji because there i'm going to get variety then i choose i don't want this thing of buying something because it is the only thing that is available i'm very particular about what i bring to my house right now so i want to bring something that excites me so but the thing is that i will not shoot that video until i have those one glasses <laughs> I know it seems crazy, but that's just it. There's a particular way I want that video to be, and that wine will complete it. Since I was already at Naivas, I decided to get this. You know me, you know me with cake, but in particular these ones. You know these are the freshly baked by the supermarket. Because the ones packed by different companies, I normally buy meal bakers. But these ones by the supermarket, they normally make. They're extra yummy, they're extra soft. When you buy it, then you want to cry. <laughs> Because of how sweet they are. <laughs> People who don't love cake don't even understand my obsession. But now, the reason I had this on, apart from the fact that today is sunny, today and this day was sunny. Uh, we have not seen sunny, I don't know, over a month, over a month and a half. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But now, look. This is how my hair has been looking. Because when I, when I undid my hair, I thought that I was going to do the. No, the bandika lines, what are they called? Muongezo, these ones that you... I don't know how to call those lines. The hairstyle that I did last year, is it last year or last year by tour? It, I'm telling you, it removed my money. It plucked off my edges. So I asked on my Instagram, like, solutions for, like, growing it back. There's a product that Elena recommended that I'm going to buy. But mainline also, I'm doing protective styles. And I was told that those lines, actually, they also pull at your edges. I didn't know. So from there, I've just been confused. Because I was advised to either just split my, my normal hair, my natural hair, or do crochet. So I'm trying to figure out what to do in the meantime. I even thought maybe I should just do wig lines. And then, you know, be putting on this one wig of mine. But it is only one wig and it needs to be like, you know, do wash, you know, those flat iron. It's not looking the best. And maybe I don't want to put on things that make me look bad. This wig is not bad. I need something that is, I don't want to be having wigs all the time. So that means you only, most of the time I'm presentable when I have the wig. But when I have the lines underneath, I can't go somewhere just with the lines, so that's a bit tricky. Today is 10th. I want to check whether I'll get paid this month by YouTube so I can know in advance instead of just <laughs> hoping, hoping for the best. If you're a YouTuber, as I said on that video of my first YouTube check, I said YouTube pays once a month. It accumulates all the money you've, you've, uh, you've made and then it updates it once on Google AdSense, but I didn't know the date the exact date and then one of you was so kind enough to tell me in that video that which video has 1600 comments i can't go back to it but one of you told me that they normally update on the 10th and i've been checking from that day and it's true so today is 10th of july you guys are going to see this video two days from today on wednesday today is monday so every 
Twitter and if you're a YouTuber, go to your Google AdSense account, not YouTube Studio, Google AdSense account. Log in, immediately log in, you'll see the amount that you have made. If it is 70 euros and above, YouTube will send you the money at the end of the month. They will send you that email telling you you've deposited the money into your account, blah, blah, blah. If it's less than 70 euros, you just know that you're not expecting any money, okay? So if you want to check, you can do that. So that's what I want to check today. I want to see if I'm expecting money or not. No, I'm just guessing not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not being negative, but I'm just guessing I'm not getting any money. Because I've, I've, been, I've been seeing my income from YouTube Studio. And some of you think that once you get monetized, then you get money every month. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. If you haven't made 70 euros, you can't get paid. After getting my first YouTube check, that one, the next month I didn't get paid. And then last month I got paid. And then this month now I'm checking. Now I'm a baby in this YouTube payment. So this is like the third month. Go for it. Let us see, let us see, let us see. What? <laughs> no way! better than nothing like oh thank you jesus because i was just like i dedicate a lot of my time to social media of course i do other things too which i'm going to let you know one or two of them very soon maybe in the next vlog but social media is a big part of my life and i really 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 need this money from youtube so i was just like oh my god now if it's not coming then i have to pull from the others to pay my bills but it's not bad it can pay one bill the rest of the bills i'll have to look for money from other sources but i'm grateful okay i'm just i've been praying to get to that point where i am from YouTube every month, even if it is small, how but at least every month. So, if you also want to check immediately, you see this video, you go check your Google AdSense account, and then now, not that you're going to get paid now, but you know that now you're expecting money at the end of the month. In the evening, I'm craving omena. Omena, omena is it dagger or silverfish? I'm craving omena with skuma. I keep going back to eating skuma, I missed skuma like three months without skuma, omena, skuma, and ugali soft ugali so i don't know if I'm, i think i'll show you that i'm ready to cook my omena i'm going to use only onions and tomatoes i don't do fancy things when it comes to omena it is right here i just poured hot water in, on it it's been about three minutes i want to take it out then i fry it yeah this oil i'll use it to fry something else so i'm just going to fry the omena here i want to prepare the ugali here and then the greens there these are the greens I'm just uh, preparing them using part of the onions too. So I'm going to shallow fry the omena first. After they've become crispy, then I add onions, then I add tomatoes. Simple as that. First of all, I miss you. And secondly, I never want to see your face again. I get that it makes no sense. But I've been trying to forget that I remember you exist I'm just exhausted Cause you said you needed me And I took that way too seriously So forgive me for saying I'm sorry I don't need nobody Except maybe you Is it true? I'd say directly to your face if I was brave enough But instead I will give it a title that matches yours Then listen with my headphones in and wonder what I'm crying for I'm just exhausted cause you said you needed me And I took that way too seriously So forgive me Saying I'm sorry, I don't need nobody except maybe you. Oh, is it true love if I don't? 
This is how you're enjoying. You're enjoying the mena. Yummy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yummy. Just enjoy the bogus, my favorite. Yeah, the greens. Mmm. Nice. Yummy, yeah, the bogus, my favorite. Any type of bogus. Mmm. The texture. Mmm. The, the way it smells, the way it's yummy. So, so, so I wanted you to just say bye to guys and then you go back to eating. Thank you for watching the video. Please watch the video and subscribe. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I go enjoy your food. <laughs> oh, bye guys. See you in my next video.